what you got to lose. 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 Yo, what's up guys? It's Phenomenal Z. Today I'm gonna predict the entire Money in the Bank pay-per-view knowing that it will air live this Sunday. So unlike WrestleMania, which is in many ways a nostalgia show thanks to the appearance of legends like The Undertaker and Goldberg, Money in the Bank is a way to build for the future because of the ability to hotshot new championship challengers in the men's and women's divisions. Unlike every year, this year's event will be unique, because instead of a traditional ladder match, money in the bank will be determined by which superstar can grab the briefcase from the top of WWE headquarters in Stamford, Connecticut. I will start with the women's money in the bank ladder match. Shayna Baszler vs. Asuka vs. Nia Jax vs. Lacey Evans vs. Carmella vs. Dana Brooke. WWE kinda spoiled the potential winner of this match. They showed us on Raw that the Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch will confront the superstar who grabs the briefcase on Monday night. But this doesn't really mean that it's a huge spoiler, considering that the only woman from the SmackDown brand that has any momentum is Lacey Evans. Since she just had a feud with Bayley for the SmackDown Women's title, going right back to that without building the sassy Southern Bell back up wouldn't make much sense. This leaves us to Shayna Baszler, Asuka and Nia Jax as the most likely winners. Jax has received a monster push on Raw in recent weeks, including squashing a local talent on Raw after Mania and consecutive wins over Kyrie Sane. She's also the kind of monster here that Vince McMahon loves to turn to when he wants to put a champion over strong. But the real problem is that she is not talented and she can't perform very well in the ring. They won't make her win unless she's gonna cash in and fail. I don't see them putting the title on a woman that can't wrestle for more than 10 minutes. As for Baszler, if she wins, it would feel like traditional WWE booking. Although losing at WrestleMania, she still looked strong. Putting the briefcase on Baszler would allow WWE to go back to a feud with Lynch either right away or later in the summer. That does seem like it could be in their cards because of how strong the former mixed martial artist was being booked leading up to Wrestlemania. Asuka is the best all around heel in the Raw Women's Division. She was feeding with Lynch before Baszler entered the picture. Fans would like to see Asuka as Mrs. Money in the Bank because she's doing an interesting job without fans. Her winning the briefcase would be entertaining. But still, I'm going with Baszler, because it makes the most sense given where things stood coming out of WrestleMania. Now we have SmackDown Women's Champion Bayley vs Tamina for the SmackDown Women's Championship. There's really not a whole lot to break down here aside from the obvious. The intention is clearly to build it toward the eventual showdown between Sasha Banks and Bayley presumably at SummerSlam. Tamina is seemingly being a title opportunity here to fill the time as a reward for her long-standing service to the company. Bayley comes away with this one while the tension continues to mount between her and Sasha Banks. Bayley will retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now it's time for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. The champions The New Day vs The Forgotten Sons vs The Lucha House Party vs Miz and Morrison. I don't seemingly see The New Day losing their titles in this one, considering that they recently won the titles. They also lost against The Forgotten Sons two weeks ago and against both The Forgotten Sons and Miz and Morrison last night on SmackDown. It's too early to put the titles on The Forgotten Sons. Therefore, they will not win the SmackDown Tag Team Championships this Sunday. Neither will Miz and Morrison win the titles because they had momentum last night after winning their match. We all know that whoever stands tall at the last show ends up losing at the pay-per-view. The Lucha House Party are a very talented tag team, but they are obviously here just to get pinned. 
it's just not their time right now. My prediction, the New Day will retain their titles. WWE Champion Drew McIntyre will defend his title against Seth Rollins. We all know that WWE is pushing McIntyre as a dominant champion. We also know that it's very hard for someone to lose a world title in his first title defense. The Scottish Terminator hasn't lost a televised match since November. Though that was a fatal four-way with Rey Mysterio pinning Ricochet. Just one month after McIntyre defeated Brock Lesnar to win the WWE Championship for the first time in his career, having him drop the title to Rollins would make no sense at all. Rollins should be able to make the match quality good, but this isn't the time to make a title switch. It could also end in a DQ or in a no contest. Who knows? Whatever the case may be, McIntyre will retain the WWE Championship. WWE Universal Champion Braun Strowman will defend his title against Bray Wyatt. I don't see Wyatt winning the title here as his normal gimmick. It would make more booking sense for him to fall here and then come back to beat Braun Strowman as the Fiend at the next show or perhaps even SummerSlam. Ultimately, pulling the title of Strowman so quickly would be a mistake, but Wyatt also needs to stay strong after a couple poor decisions with him regarding his feuds with Goldberg and South Rollins before that. In the end, Braun Strowman will find a way to retain his title. Last but not least, we have the men's Money in the Bank ladder match between AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, Aleister Black, King Corbin, Rey Mysterio and Otis. But before I start, I just wanna say that I predict that one of superstars will get thrown off the roof. Going by traditional WWE booking, fans can breathe easier because it doesn't seem like King Corbin will win Money in the Bank. Corbin stood tall at the end of SmackDown, but that is usually done to throw fans off the scent of who will go over in a match. Rey Mysterio and Daniel Bryan seem to be in the match simply because they are a steady hand who can do cool stuff in a unique setting. Neither one of them will win. Otis is an interesting entertainer and he is very over with the fans. He's a great character who can challenge for the championship someday, just not now. I see him getting stuck in the elevation. Aleister Black on the other hand is a contender. We could see him grab the briefcase and win the WWE Championship soon. But I don't really think it's his time because he didn't do important stuff on the main roster yet. He always beats local talents or superstars in a few minutes. I also think it's too early for him to win a world title. The fans could turn on him if he wins. The phenomenal AJ Styles returned to Raw this week and he's coming off his own loss at WrestleMania. At least, he's won a match since then, to justify being in a main event bout. He's also a much better heel than Rollins and would make for a strong opponent in a feud with McIntyre. And after his huge promo on Raw, I think AJ Styles will win the Money in the Bank briefcase. And Mr. Money in the Bank can be Phenomenal. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please like, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon for more videos. Peace.